Hey, I'm Micah. This is my uh, last video. Uh, it'll be about the animals we see around Miles Canyon. Uh, Miles Canyon is, of course, situated on the traditional territory of the Kwanlin Dunn First Nation and Tongkwatong Council. There are many species of animals that you can see at Miles Canyon, from minks to frogs. In this video, I'll be talking about a few of the most common mammals and amphibians in the area. First up is the red fox. These are one of the most common larger animals you will see around Miles Canyon. They used to be farmed for their fur shortly after the Klondike Gold Rush, and you can find remnants of a fox farm in Canyon City. Many foxes in the Whitehorse area have been habituated, as many people feed them. Their natural food ranges from frogs to rabbits, but most commonly around Whitehorse, mice, and red squirrels. You can find red squirrels everywhere at Miles Canyon. Their diet varies including mushrooms, bird's eggs, berries, mice, and seeds from spruce cones. Their long, bushy tail is primarily used for balance when they jump from tree to tree. They also use it to intimidate potential rivals. Another cool animal you may see at Miles Canyon is the North American porcupine. They generally eat twigs, roots, stems, and berries. There's a fairly common myth that porcupines can shoot their quills this is false. Porcupines bristle their quills, and when a quill comes in contact with the attacker, it can easily penetrate and become embedded in its skin. Each quill has small barbs, which allow it to stick into the flesh of an attacker. Fun fact about porcupines is that they are the only native North American mammal with antibiotics in its skin. Those antibiotics prevent an infection. When a porcupine falls out of a tree and is stuck with its own quilts upon hitting the ground. Porcupines actually fall out of trees fairly often because they're constantly tempted by the juicier buds and twigs at the end of the branches. If you take the trail closest to the Yukon River, you may see a wood frog. Wood frogs are the only common widespread amphibian in the Yukon. While the tadpoles primarily eat algae and plant decay, Adults eat whatever small invertebrates they can catch. Their predators include foxes, mink, and larger birds. These frogs overwinter by simply freezing themselves. They can survive over the winter if no more than about 65% of their total body water freezes. Another really interesting animal that has been seen around Miles Canyon is the American mink. Minks are amphibious, hunting successfully on both land and in water. They feed primarily on small mammals, invertebrates, fish, and can even take down muskrats. Minks are trapped and farmed for their fur today, as it is very silky and dark. If caught at an early age, minks can be kept as pets, and in the 19th century they were used for ratting. Minks have become very widespread because of farming, and can be found across much of North America as well as parts of South America and Europe. Anyways, thanks for watching, and make sure to come down to Miles Canyon to check out not only the cool animals, but also the flora and the incredible landscape.